Hello everyone, I'm Andre Navarro of Ocean Earth Green and this is day four, Baja Adventures, Calafia Cove. First we're gonna explore the once famous Calafia Hotel and Restaurant above the cliffs and then we're gonna dive and explore Calafia Cove from the shore all the way to the kelp beds about 200 yards out. And after our dive, we're headed to famous Puerto Nuevo for some lobster. We're about to exit the free road to old Hotel Calafia, which overlooks the beautiful Calafia Cove. This historical and decaying resort was built in the 1940s and once was the place to be. Let's take a walk and imagine how it was during its popular times. Even though the hotel rooms and pool are completely in disarray, the property is still beautiful with statues, art, Spanish architecture, gardens, and gorgeous ocean views. The ocean views from the many arches and gardens are gorgeous. I love the rustic abandoned ambiance. Even though this is not how it's intended to be, it adds a special personality and feeling to the experience of exploring here. It's rumored that the classic Hotel Calafia is slowly being renovated but in need of funding. I hope one day this beautiful location is restored I hope you've enjoyed our quick exploration of this once famous hotel. Now let's get down this cliff and into the water. And this will be our entry today from the Calafia Cove, where we're gonna paddle out from the rocky shore, past the turbulent waves, all the way to the kelp beds, two to three hundred yards offshore. There's constant waves and current all along the way. I've never been here before, so I don't know what to expect, but we're gonna get down under and check it out. So now it's time to get below the surface. The entry here is from an extremely rocky shore that is hard to walk across. While trying to get in deep enough to swim out, the waves are constant and the current is strong. There's much to see in the shallow water, but it's too hard to stay steady without getting pushed all over the place by the waves. So we're starting with the footage about 50 yards from shore, where we can move forward without getting constantly bashed by waves. The water is very cold here and extremely murky. There's kelp patches and seaweed everywhere along the rocks. The cove gets deeper very slowly over a great distance. 
the depth varies constantly from a few feet to five to seven feet back and forth. Just as it seems to be getting deeper, then it gets shallow again. I also notice there aren't many fish here. I see a couple Sargo Sea Bream here and there, which are silver with a black vertical stripe, and I occasionally see bright orange Garibaldi damselfish. Here we are, about 100 yards out, past shore. It's extremely rough, a lot of current. The waves are like three to five feet, right in back of me to the side. They're breaking right off the rocks, so you gotta kind of stay to the center of the cove. In this area, there's a bunch of kelp patches when they start. So we're gonna continue to go further out. There's more and more kelp patches. As it gets deeper, you see what the terrain's like. Right here, it's about, it varies between four to like eight feet. So here we go, as we continue on to the deeper kelp patches, get back down to it. There's a California sheephead in the murk. You'll notice here that almost all the rocks are covered in coral-like animals. But these aren't corals, they're the homes of honeycomb tube worms. Also known as sandcastle worms, they live in colonies building tube reefs on rocky beaches. And this is the keyhole limpet, which is a species of small sea snail. And right next to it is a much larger California sea hare which is a species of medium-sized sea slug. Even though the current is rough, it easily holds on tight as it makes its way along the rock. As we continue on, it's getting much deeper and murky. In some areas, I can barely see where I'm going. I'm also coming across more fish, but it's hard to see what type they are, and they get spooked easily here. Up top, the waves are getting bigger, along with the current down here. I'm getting tossed around and can only go forward with the current. I hope this murky dive has been entertaining. If you have any questions regarding the location, please leave them in the comments below. Today we've explored much above and below the surface of Calafia Cove. But this isn't over yet. Now I'm starving. Exploring and diving makes a huge appetite. So we're headed to nearby famous Puerto Level for lobster and mariachi. the free road about 15 minutes south of Rosarito beaches is the famous and delicious Puerto Nuevo. This seafood restaurant village is a weekend favorite. With over 40 open restaurants specializing in La Costa Puerto Nuevo style, which is simply lobster fried in delicious garlicky butter sauce. Each restaurant offers other seafood entries, but the lobster is what most people come here for. With gorgeous Pacific Ocean views, I always pick a restaurant along the beach. One of my favorites and today's choice is Angel Del Mar. Fast and friendly service always, delicious food no matter what you order, and the best lobster with all you can eat homemade beans, rice, and tortillas. If you haven't had homemade tortillas, you're in for a very special treat here. And I'm sure you've noticed all the musicians at every turn. The atmosphere is loud, fun, and musical. We always sit on the third floor overlooking the ocean. And this place is huge. With lots of seating in or outside on the different levels and patios.
and here we are, our favorite corner seat with the view. Now we're ready to get down to business. Oh uh, yes. First we start off with the complimentary fresh fried and crispy tortilla chips with pico de gallo, salsa rojo, and juicy limes. I always have to remind myself there's a lot more food coming before I fill myself up with all these yummy chips and fresh salsas. Then comes the all-you-can-eat fresh fried beans, Spanish rice, and handmade tortillas, which always comes with the lobster special. Along with the lobster comes fresh limes and hot butter for dipping. It's the perfect amount of filling and delicious food to fill you up for the night. It's the perfect ending to a long and physical day. Here are some other entries. At the top, Camarones Costa Azul, which are fresh fried bacon wrapped shrimp stuffed with lobster and cheese, and towards the bottom, fried battered shrimp. Everything here is made right with care and delicious. Let's get one more look at the delicious lobsters. The flavor is perfect. Fried in garlic and butter, such a simple and delicious entry with the perfect sides. Now let's take a moment to check out some of the musical groups you'll hear while eating at Puerto Nuevo, from the relaxing to the extreme. and fun. Check back soon for day five of Baja Adventures as we dive Arbolitos Cove of the Punta Banda Peninsula. I hope this experience has been helpful and entertaining and if you have any questions I'd be happy to answer them in the comments. Please give this video a like and share with those interested in visiting or diving Calafia Cove.